Hey everybody, Accurize here. Welcome back to the long dark Iron Man of Timberwolf Mountain. This will be episode number three. So we're inside of our cave, and uh, this actually comes out at a different spot. So um, it's it's sort of a tunnel more than a cave, really. I mean, I guess it's both. Okay, <laughs> but a tunnel is sort of describing that it has two different uh, entrances and exits. Exits, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for my lack of mastery of the English language, which surprisingly is my primary language. Um, but uh, so we were really cold uh, in a bad way. We got some wood chopped up in here. It's nice and warm in here. It's a good place to recover. It's a good place to hole up and make a base. But uh, we need to. We're trying to make it to the summit, and uh, I think we're going to uh, need to keep moving forward here best we can. We do have most of our major tools, if I'm correct. We got our hatchet, we got our knife. We're missing a can opener, which kind of sucks because we're losing a few calories every time we have to knife a can open. So here we go. We're going to leave the cave here. I'll probably come right back in. Uh, just want to see what's outside here real quick. Okay. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go right back inside here and just uh, try to recover from our uh, injuries because we're not in good condition. We're at 19% health. So we're going to need to rest up for a good long while here. And it's 34 degrees in here. Once we get in our sleeping bag, we'll get a little bit of a warmth bonus also. But uh, we need to uh, eat, drink, and be merry for the most part. Uh, 900 calories. We should be able to go ahead and... Uh, avoid eating for a little while here for a few hours so let's just go ahead and sleep uh, bedroll should give us seven degree warmth bonus that's good so let's just go ahead and rest for like four hours see where we're at we really need to recover our condition before we shove on anymore all right 29 percent not too bad uh not really that thirsty. Let's go for another four. Actually, let's go for six. Heck, might as well just do eight. Let's just get a drink and do all eight. I think you recover faster if you if you sleep in larger blocks, larger increments. It's like a better, you know, like a more restful sleep, and we'll still be ahead in calories too. We just need to get back to 100% condition. Don't want to mess around with that. 65% condition, so much better. Okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and drink again. We do have some wood. If we do need to start a fire, we can get about three hours of good fire if we need it. Uh, I think we have what four. Oh, actually, we got about five hours of burn time. With that, we're still underweight. We're in pretty good shape there. Uh, six tenders, so we're ready to rock and roll. And we do have. Uh, do have matches and uh, different types of matches. We got you know, 20 matches, so a couple flares if we need to to start a fire in an emergency. So, all right, let's just keep keep recovering here. We need to eat actually, so let's just do that real quick. Let's get this out of the way. Eat that. Eat a few of these. Get up to about a thousand calories. I'd be pretty happy with that. There we go. Alright. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, let's just rest for another eight. I think we should wake up. Well, it's going to be light when we wake up. and We should be about 100% condition when we do wake up. Hopefully. Alright, 100% condition. Things look pretty good. Let's go ahead and drink. How many calories we got? 500. Yeah, let's just go ahead and polish these off. Have to keep our eyes open for food as we move. Just kind of forage the best we can. All right, one more. Yummy. All right, cattails. Yay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I was like, get the rifle ready. Nope, can't do that because I don't. I've never found a rifle on this level yet. Actually, let's just holster this crap. Should probably just have a flare out 
That's what I should do. Boy, that would be awesome. Get all that for firewood. Uh, too bad it won't let you cut it. I'm right, we'll head up this way. I think this is the route. I have a vague understanding of what route you're supposed to take, but uh, it's not very concrete at all. So we're going to give it our best shot here. Temperature here. Negative 10 degrees. Ooh, that's cold. That is not good. I need to actually repair my clothing. Maybe we'll uh we'll do that here shortly. Alright. It's like a pretty sizable cave here. Looks like there's some stuff here also see exactly what it is. As long as there's no bears or wolves guarding it. New location discovered. Cave. Alright, well, probably have to turn around. Oh, wait. There's one way, one way in and out of this cave. Alright, cool. Lots of... Oh, wow. Okay. So actually some pretty useful stuff. Bedroll. Oh, we could tear that down and really repair our clothes nicely, actually. The food would be nice. That'll work. That'll work. Alright, that's about another thousand calories right there. Um, I think we're actually going to go back and repair our clothes. Let's take a look at our clothes. Yes, we will be doing that. Because uh, I don't think we can actually repair that without leather. But we can repair a few of these. Get them in pretty good condition. So let's head on back. I know it seems like a waste of, uh, of time to head back, but I don't really want to stand out here at negative two degree temperature for several hours trying to sew. So we're going to head back to a dark cave where we'll, uh, we'll sew in the dark, but at least we'll be warm. This map is amazing. This map is absolutely stunning. Hinterland really knocked it out of the park with this one. This is really the map I've been waiting for for so long. But, uh... I'm really excited to see... Uh, where the story mode is going to go. Because I think they've really made things interesting with this map and all the the plane wreck wreckage all around because you know in the uh in the previews it looks like will is is flying like a small personal aircraft like a super plane this thing's like a freaking airliner so i wonder you know what's going on with it it's, it's got me it's got me intrigued all right another thing is we don't want to get numb too off or freezing too often because we're going to catch pneumonia and that's just a pain in the butt you gotta stay above freezing for 24 hours. You basically have to hole up somewhere for 24 hours, not go outside. Um, temperature here is 34. We're good to go. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, tear this down. We don't need this. Can't wear it at the same time because you can only one wear this one or this one, and this one's obviously better. So even if we had fully repaired this one, the down ski jacket's gonna be better. So let's just harvest this one, and we're gonna go ahead and harvest the. Uh, the extra sleeping bag. You can't can't double them up. That'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Double up your sleeping bags. But uh, you can't double them up. So we're just going to take the worst condition sleeping bag here and uh, shred it. Harvest that. Get 10 cloth out of it. Should have about 15 cloth or something ridiculous like that. We should be able to fully uh, repair all of our clothing. So let's let's do this. Wool socks. Those are wool socks. Those are nice. Let's do the wool sweater first repair that 80% chance of success repair 30 all right yep go for it ah we failed <laughs> all right let's give it another shot oh, are you kidding me 80% chance that I'm failing two times in a row all right 
So yeah, two to group one. Let's repair these. Yeah, it's it's pretty nasty outside too. I'm kind of glad that we came in. Otherwise, we'd be stuck out of that. Looks like it just passed, just as we were we finished repairing those. So that bumped up about a about a degree right there temperature. Let's uh, repair our down ski jacket here. Take two cloths. Or no, I'm sorry, that would harvest two cloths, but it's only going to take one to repair. Repair 30, so we'll be at 100%. Let's do it. All right, there we go. Nice. 3.6 degrees. Everything else is looking pretty darn good. Uh, probably. Mittens are in good shape. I can tear those gloves down. Oh, I wonder if that turns into leather. No, they're synthetic. It'll be cloth. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's harvest it. Very good. So... Let's go ahead and repair the wool cloth. Or the wool socks. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, I think I hear somebody needing my attention, so I will uh, put this on pause real quick. Go uh, reassure my little one that everything's okay, and Daddy's here, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. She settled down on her own. No need for intervention on my part. Uh, let's get something to drink here. Actually, let's get something to eat and drink. Yeah, let's eat these crackers. 600 calories. And we'll, uh, go to get... Oh, we don't have anything to drink. Oh, yeah, we'll just drink one of these Mouth sodas. so dry. Drink one of those sodas. Next time we make a fire, we'll... Get another, uh, batch of water going. Okay. Should be pretty good. Okay, so there we go. Let me see here. We were just, uh... Yeah, we were just, uh... Repairing some clothing, weren't we? Alright, everything's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, 14 degree clothing bonus. Alright, let's go ahead and head back out. Five hours of daylight left. Leaving the cave. Hopefully the weather is somewhat sensible. 21 degrees, I'll take it. No, 13 degrees. It's kind of warm at the mouth of the cave, apparently. 14 degrees. Oh, okay, well. If it wasn't for our clothing warmth bonus, it'd be zero. If we, were, if we were playing naked and afraid out here. It'd be very, very cold. What are we doing on weight? 60 pounds, okay. Alright. Let's keep shoving on here. I might actually... Uh, Oh, probably drink that last soda before we uh, actually make another batch of water. So, well, the little ones uh, feel a little bit under the weather the last couple days, so I'm a little bit fussier than normal sleeping. Nothing too bad, but uh, just. Uh, just a little more fussy. Having a harder time settling in. Actually, it's, I take it completely for granted. Normally, they both sleep about 10 hours straight through the night with no problems. It's a two, uh, two year old and a, and a four month old. So I'm pretty lucky in that regard. So I really can't complain for these odd nights where things aren't, aren't quite going as planned. Hope you as viewers understand, and if you can't, well then, piss off. <laughs> Go find another channel. All right, well that's that's a area I could hang a rope. I do have one in my pack. I can't, I can't get up there, can I? Well, what the heck? Alright, well, uh, let's go this way then. 
thought I knew how to get get up to the summit. I guess I or I said I have a vague idea how to do it. I guess I don't have any idea how to do it. Well, if it wasn't left, it's gotta be right. Luckily, I didn't have to go too far left to figure that out. I thought when it stuttered right there. I don't know if you guys saw it on your screen, but it stuttered real quick for me. I thought it was going to be a sprained ankle. It's like, oh yeah, that figures. Alright, well, rose hips have a little bit of calories. We'll grab them. Let's head around this way. This map, I don't know. I think it is as big as Pleasant Valley. It's just, it's hard to tell. Maybe it's just because you have to walk so much around things that it seems so big. I don't, I don't know. I think we go that way, I think. I guess it's sort of a fork in the road. I'm not sure. I'm just wandering around the best I can here. Trying to find my way up to the summit. Wait, is it? I think maybe so. 20 degrees? Eh, I'll take that. That's not bad at all. So we are starting to get a little cold though. Check. I'm gonna check over here real quick. No, no, there's the rope. I see it. I just saw it flickering on the screen. Yep, there it is. Good stuff. Luckily, there haven't been that many wolves that we've seen so far in this area, so I'll consider, uh, I'll consider ourselves lucky with that. At this point, I kind of almost want to have a wolf. Uh, a little wolf battle just so I can uh, let him run around and die and then collect his meat. Because we could almost use the meat for the trip. I don't know. That's a. That seems like it's. Is that higher than the last one? I think so. Now. Stamina and make it up there, I think. Yeah, we got a full bar. I just wonder how fast it'll deplete. I think it depends upon your fatigue how fast that bar depletes. Maybe how much you're carrying, too. I don't know. I think we'll make it. Come on. Come on, buddy. You got it. Gonna get attacked by another wolf again as soon as I crest the top here. Okay. Little rose hips. tired. I think we go up there. Oh shoot. Where's he at? Should I fight him? No, I don't think so because there's too much area for him to disappear around here. I need a cave or something. That'd be nice. If I can find a cave, that'd be great. Is there a cave around here? 
the cave, I need a cave. Oh, a deer would work. If I can get him to go after this deer instead. Where's he at? Oh, he's getting close. Oh, the deer's running away. Get back here. Try to flare in that direction. Alright. So much for that. I was trying to save that flare, but. I think there's supposed to be caves up in here, too. So you can sort of seek refuge in between climbs. Um, I just don't know where they're at. Keep my eyes open. Oh, there's a cave right here. Not an indoor cave, but might be able to rest here for a minute. Over and covered. How am I over and covered? What did I pick up? Oh, it's probably my fatigue. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm only carrying 61 pounds, so it's not that big of a load that I'm carrying. Oh, we got some wood here. That's good. Let's get a uh, fire going here. Three hours of daylight. Okay. I think we got a fire going here. That's a nice little spot to hang out in here. Wow. I just get a fire going here for an hour, warm up, uh, recover. We got lots of wood, actually. Tons of wood. And we need to get uh, some water anyway, so no big deal. Heck, we could, we could actually stay tonight here. We would have enough wood for it, I would imagine. See how we do after an hour or two of rest. Oh, I don't really want to go explore too much when there's only one hour of daylight left. Alright. Well, there's that. Toss the flare down. Do this. Let's, let's throw a fur wood on there. Let's rest for an hour and then get some water. Flare fire still going. Up. All right, ninety-two percent health, warmed up nicely. An hour of uh, burn time left. Let's throw another another log on the fire. I think it's four. We got two. Yeah, let's do that. So let's cook up some water while we wait. But by, the, by morning, once we uh, burn up most of this wood, we should be safe. It shouldn't be a big deal at all. Uh, do we have anything to eat? Maybe we just have drinks, don't we? Oh, we got the soup. Uh, I'll save that in case we're really chilled in the future. So I'm going to save that soup. I don't know. Maybe I will eat it because we're going to have to sleep through the night. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's cook up that soup. calories we're going to get out of this. I can't remember how much tomato soup has. It can't be that much. Probably like 4,000 calories at the most. Let's eat it. 300 calories. Yeah, that's not much. There we go. 1,000 calories. And we're down to 61. When we, when we rest and recover completely, we'll be in pretty good shape. Less than one hour of daylight left. So, I think you know what we'll do is we'll go out here. Let me grab a torch. Yeah, I'll grab a torch from here, go chop up some wood, and then uh, and use it, have a campfire next to me when I chop the wood. So, grab a torch. Let's go find some wood outside here real quick. Some wood that's real close here. 
There we go. There's a nice, nice huge piece. That should give us plenty, plenty of wood. Make it through the night. We're gonna end up with like five pieces out of that. One hour. Okay, let's go ahead and start a fire here so we stay warm. Okay, we're gonna use our torch to start this fire, and we're gonna use some of these sticks. Yeah. Oh no no no. Okay, just it's, yeah, okay. It's okay. Never mind. Disregard me. cedar wood out of this. We're going to have a nice fire going all night long in that cave. They were a little thirsty. I need to actually... Oh, are you kidding? I, fail, I failed starting a fire with a torch. Is that even possible? How 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 bad do you have to be to start fires to have that happen? I don't even know what the percentage was we used in the torch. It's gotta be pretty high. Are you okay, well I'm gonna find out now apparently. How is that even possible? 76% that's it? Wow. Come on. I should just I should have something to drink right now, but I really don't want the fire to go out inside. I didn't realize it was gonna take me this long to start a fire. I had like an hour and eighteen minutes on that on that fire in the cave. So I figured I'd be out here, chop wood for an hour, and plus a little bit of time to start the fire, but I didn't think it was going to take me 18 minutes to start a fire. So far it looks like a might. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay, good deal. Let's just chop wood, let's extinguish this. Did the wind blow it out? Yeah, it looked like the wind did blow it out. Hopefully our fire still work. Doesn't look like it is actually. Looks like it burned out. Took too long. Took too long. Shoot. Well, we're gonna have to use another match. Well, that sucks. But at least we got tons of wood now. What a waste of resources, how sad. I could use some luck. Get this fire going, people. Then we'll get our drink on. We'll sleep through the night. We'll be back to 100% health by morning. It's not a big deal. We're bleeding a little bit of health. We'll recover here very quickly. Assuming we get a fire going, we only really have like 15 matches to try. So. Let's do that. Let's holster that torch. And let's throw the fur wood on them. Sleep for eight. Wake up and assess the uh, situation. So let's, let's drop this bed roll here. Uh, let's get a drink, obviously. There we go. 62 calories. Not going to use that many calories. So we'll be in good shape when we wake up. Not in good shape, but we'll be safe when we wake up. So let's just go to rest. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's not rest. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay rest of eight hours. If that fire burns out in that cave, I'm going to be very disappointed. Three days, 33 minutes. Not too bad. Can't be that much longer. Uh, nice and warm. We're at 100% uh, health. Alright. How much time do we have left on fire? An hour. Look at nasty out there. Look at nasty. Alright, everybody. Well... We'll go ahead and uh, call that an end to episode number three. Like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to ascend to the uh, summit here, check out the fuselage, and maybe get some good gear to help us uh, survive as long as possible on Timberwolf Mountain. I don't know what's what the future's going to hold, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun series, I think. So, hope it has been anyway so far. 
like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar, head on over to patreon.com forward slash activates too if you like to kill a producer on our videos. Pledge as little as one dollar a month to become an associate producer. Y'all take care, I'll see you in episode number four.